It's called Coinbase, and it's a cryptocurrency exchange which is headquartered in San Francisco. The company laid off 1,100 employees this week, about a fifth of its workforce. NBC Bay Area City of Quintana is in San Francisco with a look at what that means for those employees and for the Bay Area economy overall. If you log into LinkedIn and type in Coinbase, you'll be able to scroll through a number of posts from many of those laid off employees, many of them saying that they only learned that they didn't have a job anymore because they got a personal email. That's because they were immediately locked out of their work email and Slack channels. So many of those posts on LinkedIn practically echo each other. I was laid off by Coinbase. It was shocking to say the least. I got the unfortunate news of being one of the 18% of Coinbase employees that were laid off. I was part of an 18% layoff along with 1,100 other talented folks at Coinbase. In an exclusive conversation with CNBC, the company's chief operating officer, Emily Choi, says Coinbase is reacting to uncertainty in the cryptocurrency world and the overall economy. Recent hiring freezes and this wave of layoffs are an effort to survive through the long haul. The best thing we can do, given that we've made this decision, is to make sure that we treat those outgoing employees with, with as much respect, dignity, and generosity as possible. And to that end, we've offered them generous severance packages. Jeff Balasario at the Bay Area Council says after two years of serious growth, some tech firms could begin cutting back as consumers who shifted their spending online during the pandemic are now facing new challenges. Whether it's around inflation, or interest rates um, or consumer sentiment, uh, many of the metrics are headed in the wrong direction. And uh, more and more, we're hearing the R word recession um, from companies in our region. And, and as they think about that recession, um, they need to plan ahead. And oftentimes the cost cut does come from the labor side. But he says that may not hit the Bay Area overall immediately. And he believes a recession will not be long lasting. That's because there are still more than 11 million job openings across the country. If you look at the posts on LinkedIn from those laid off workers, all of them already have comments from recruiters looking to hire. They believe this a slowdown may present opportunity for them. So um, as top talent becomes available, you may see Smaller companies jump to grab that talent. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC Bay Area News.